One of the features that, that came up and has been evolved is the swan neck rear wing. The idea behind this is that, you know, we used to mount them from the bottom, but, but like an airplane wing, which if you think about it is curved on the top and the idea is to throw the air off to create lift. What we're trying to do is the exact opposite that and, and drag the car down, creating downforce. And by having the uprights on the bottom in the path of that flow of air, so we were interrupting it and it was not as efficient. So the swan net rear wing allows it to be I mean, more it efficient. really does look like it's mounted upside down. Yeah. <laughs> And then in the back, this gives us the opportunity to see the new intake system. And this is really what is uh, helping this mid-engine car. We had restriction in the airflow because one was intake and one was exhaust in the sides. We did have definitely high oil temperatures in the car. They were 250. So we've taken the breathing function away from the side vents and put them where the quarter glass used to be. And we now intake through that oh, area. I see. Yeah, and we breathe through the top. Uh, the engine is a, a direct engine from the GT3. It started in your Speedster, actually. That was the first time we used this engine. So what most engines have is just a big intake, and that intake has a single flap in it that allows to regulate the airflow. What we have now is six individual throttle bodies, and each one of them has their own butterfly. All sorts of little ultra whammy things. Variable valve timing, variable intake timing. Uh, all of these things, along with these individual throttle bodies, allow us to broaden out the torque curve and the horsepower range. So we, we can make more horsepower and torque at lower RPMs by having a variable engine rather than everything fixed and locked into place. So you have to make a compromise when you have fixed systems on the car that force you into either high RPM performance or low. It's very difficult to get the mid-range with that system because you begin sacrificing one end or the other. I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. It's going to be a going to be a fun car. After waiting waiting for 2 <laughs> years, me for too. Sure.